Welcome to Anytime Learning Order Entry Processing. If you haven't already, please be sure to download the course material which contains the course reference guide and case study, including a starting data set and import files. You will find review quizzes in the course reference guide which are the same as the exam crams you will find in your profile. After completing this topic, you will be able to perform the available order entry transactions, including the entry of quotes and sales orders, shipments, the entry of invoices, as well as credit and debit notes. We will also cover the process of copying existing sales orders and how to perform periodic processing functions to clear history and update other subledger modules. Please proceed to order entry processing. In this topic on order entry processing, we will take an in-depth look at how to enter quotes, orders, shipments, invoices, and credit and debit notes. Order entry allows creation of the entire order process from the initial order through printing the invoice within one window. Or the order process can be separated using three separate icons. For example, a shipping clerk can be prevented from invoicing an order, and an invoicing clerk can be prevented from shipping an order. When transactions are posted, the inventory quantity values are always immediately updated to ensure the exact remaining quantity is known. In addition to quantity values being immediately updated when a transaction is posted, cost values can also be immediately updated upon posting a shipment. Otherwise, item cost values are updated when day-in processing is performed. Another option allows customer records to be updated immediately or saved until day-in processing. In addition to quantity and cost values being automatically updated as transactions are posted, many other accounting functions are updated as well, such as customer statistical information, salesperson commission values, and accounts receivable invoices for customers. Some of these updates are actually stored temporarily until either day-end processing is performed or the on-request icon is performed which was discussed earlier. Regardless of your update method, there are some routines that are only updated when day-end processing is performed. Therefore, day-end processing should be run periodically to ensure all files are up to date. Although it is called day-end processing, it can be performed more or less often. Sales orders can be manually created, imported, or copied from a previously posted order. Customer or item history can be viewed at any time, even while entering a new document. And prepayments can be entered for transactions during order entry. Let's take a look at order entry processing, beginning with the entry of a sales order. 